Sean in Queens. Long time no chat with him. Uh, he'll get into that hockey show next week, and he says hello. Sean, welcome. How are you today, buddy? Okay? I am good, dog. How'd you like Grenada? Oh, I, you know what? That's right. You, I, I, you know, I loved it. I, I thought Grenada, I haven't talked to you since then. My goodness, it's been five weeks. Love Grenada. Yeah, since I gave you a half hour and I owned the hockey that day. That's right, uh, which I heard about. Uh, um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, I had a, I loved it. Uh, I loved the island. Uh, I loved the hotel. I loved that beach, Arns Beach, as we discussed. Uh, I yep. loved the restaurants. I had good weather. Uh, the people were nice. Nothing not to like. Loved it. Go ahead. Glad to hear. Well, I, I you know, I, my ears perked up when, uh, you know, when you talked, uh, you know, brought an NHL up at the top of the hour. So before I get into what I want to get into with that, I know we have another week. You know, dog, this the player format, and I, I've been having a discussion with people uh, the last couple of days. You know, if they didn't have the the, the stupid uh, you know crossover, if you will, if, if you know if there's a possibility that the uh, you know the the the, uh, the wild the wild card two is in the opposite division from the top seed, well, then there's going to be a crossover. And, right. You know, it, for it instance, uh, well, what, what Sean means there is that the seventh seed, like, for instance, if the Devils are the eighth seed, if the one, and the one seed is going to be Boston, so that's a crossover series. Correct. Devils will play Boston, as of right now, in the first round. But go ahead. Correct. That, that's the part about it that's hokey, which I, which I wish they would eliminate. Um, I used to be a, uh, a proponent of the of the one eight two seven, but here's just something to chew on, dog. I, I think it's it's hard to have that, and I and I even, I don't even know how basketball the, the 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 schedule works with basketball. But the problem when you have an unbalanced schedule and you're doing one eight two seven three six four five is that I I don't think that that's fair. That you know uh, you, you're not playing the same amount of games against everybody. You know, you look at the Atlantic Division this year, and, yeah, I know in the Metropolitan Division the Islanders aren't good, the Rangers aren't good, but the Atlantic Division, you know, the Canadian Senators and Sabres have been out of it since basically November. So the, the top, you know, uh, Toronto, uh, Tampa, and Boston play an extra game against those three garbage teams, and if you were, you know, if you were doing 1-8, 2-7, et cetera, well, I, I don't know that, that, that you can, you know, I think it's an unfair advantage. And I don't think you could do it unless you have a balanced schedule. And why we can't have a balanced schedule in the NHL is because the NHL wants to play the opposite conference two times a year because the Canadian teams want each other coming in. You know, the Calgary's, Edmonton's, the Vancouver's, and Winnipeg's want Toronto and Montreal coming in every well, year. Well, why can't you play okay. a balance? Why can't you play a balanced schedule within your own conference? Why do you have to play the? Why does well, Toronto I, have to play I, Tampa I, twenty I, times? I, I actually don't. Uh, well, un, unless you do that, then you know, if, uh, unless you do that, then you can't make it one eight two seven three six four five. And what the NHL wants to do is obviously create the right. Recreate the rivalries of the eighties. Yeah, 90s. but the NBA, but Sean, the NBA, the, you don't play the same the same teams in your conference nearly as much in the NBA. I mean, Portland plays the extra game against teams in their own division compared to what they say play against the right. uh, but, Golden but is State. That really, is that really fair? Is that yeah, but really if the fair? NBA can that's, do it, the NBA fine. can do it. Why can't the NHL do it? I don't understand. Well, that that's that's just my food for thought. I mean, if you uh, you know thinking about this, I. I you know, unless they unless they want to change how they do the schedule, and for instance, I don't think they want you know the the Capitals and the Penguins to play each other less than four times a year, which is what they do now in your own division. And, and if you're not going to change that, well, then you can't add another game against you know. Uh, you know I understand there, Sean, but uh, to me that I mean, the, the, I, you're looking for the purest schedule that you can find. If the NBA can I make understand. sure that. If the NBA can have Cleveland be seated the same way Toronto was seated in the same conference, Cleveland only played Toronto three times. Toronto played Boston four times. Well, so from that standpoint, I mean, if they could do it, why can't the NHL? Because of a couple of because well, of a couple I, of odd extra games. When you have when you have Bettman at the NHL store next week, I will ask him. Up with him again. I will. What I wanted to the overall matchups, dog. First round, and what I want to give you a couple of things to keep your eyes on. Um, Number one, the the Lightning. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. You know, have the top seed in the East as as they've held basically since the end of October, and over the last month they have not played good hockey. Even probably going five to six weeks now, 
Uh, I think there are basically 12 of their last 17 or 13 of their last 18 games they've given up three or more goals. Um, they, uh, they have first-round exit written all over them if they play Toronto, um, and, and which, which they will if they don't, if they, obviously they don't win the division. But I, the, the West playoffs, dog, the first round, and I, I, I'm going to just a couple teams to keep your eyes on and get into and I know Central Time Zone is going to get screwed as they always do in the first round. You're going to have these games starting at 8:30 local, 9:30, uh, you know, Eastern on a weeknight, which is absurd, but that's the way it is now. But I tell you, you get into. We all saw Nashville last year, and and how how that city went berserk over the Predators and that building. And I tell you, that building in Winnipeg, dog, is going to be insane. They're going to revive the uh, the whiteout where every, the, the entire crowd is in white. You know, it's a small little right. building, just right. over fifteen thousand. The noise right. level is going to be incredible. So you like you like in, you like I will you, be in, yeah. You like Winnipeg to beat be Minnesota. In, make Winnipeg, a long story short. Winnipeg and Nashville, I will be all over. I am I am worried that the uh, that the Golden Knights will knock it out of the first round. Um, it's been a great story all year. Uh, I didn't doubt them until about a month ago. They had a, a three-week stretch where they did not play well. You know, the Sharks closed the gap on them. Uh, but now, uh, you know, last week uh, the, the Knights uh, the Knights wrapped up the division. But right, so, I, I so, can see them losing in the first round to an L.A. Uh, order in Anaheim. No, right, good job, Sean. Well done. Um, now, I don't make a big deal about the extra game or so, so it's an unbalanced schedule, so you can't have 1-8. It's only an extra game here and there. I don't make a big deal about that. Nine in front of the hour. Uh, Yankees and Tampa are scoreless. They're still playing in the second inning, and there's about 20,000 at Yankee Stadium. We continue here on Mando. 